Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from uh, Skip Barley, W9GWV. And he asks a simple question. He's done a rather innovative little thing to get a uh, nice HF antenna, even in an area with uh, uh, antenna restrictions. He says, I live in a condo with antenna restrictions. I have had no complaints. I keep a very friendly and positive relationship with my neighbors. I use a screwdriver antenna using ham sticks for a counterpoise. I'm using two ham sticks for each band, 40 through 10, for a total of eight ham sticks. The ham sticks are grounded to the base of the antenna. At present, the counterpoise is flat. Would the counterpoise, I think in this case, uh, I'd call it a radial field. Would the counterpoise work better if the radials were pointed down at 45 degree angle? The antenna is on the roof of my patio and the base of the antenna is about nine feet off the ground. So before we jump into answering this very interesting question, I want to pay a special thank you to Kim Owen, who is uh, one of my newest patrons. Uh, you too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og and looking for a way to support this channel that works for you. Now let's take a look at this question. Here is uh, what he has done. He has a base, a plate, okay, and on top of this he has a screwdriver antenna. Now a screwdriver antenna sticks up for ways, has a monster coil in here. And then there is a, the coil rotates and the tap for the antenna moves up and down this coil. So if you look at it from the side, a simplified view. Okay, here is the antenna going up and it taps here. Now a motor can turn this, causing this to come around like this until you get to just the right position, just the right amount of loading for that particular frequency. And you would say, well, wouldn't you lose a lot doing that? The answer is no. This is a compromise antenna, yes, absolutely. But the compromise here is that this is very high Q. That means it's very narrow band. So this will not be very good to drive the spectrum uh, display on your uh, radio because it only receives a few kilohertz each side of the frequency you're on. But because you can change this to whatever frequency that you're on, this is going to have a nice um, output signal and this screwdriver thing down here can be automated. Usually you buy uh, the antenna, the screwdriver portion separately, and then some sort of a controller for the, the radio. If you want it can be simple as go up or go down. Uh, more commonly people have memories in here so you can remember the setting to put this to the right location. Now, what he has, you can set that up for a few hundred dollars. Now, what he has out here are ham sticks. 40 meter, 40, okay, 20, 20, and so on. And this whole thing is elevated. So this acts as a vertical antenna with uh, tuned radials, okay, and the question he has is this, looking at it from the side. Do you want the radials coming out like that? Or do you want the radials coming out like that? Now, here's the quick answer to that question. When they come out flat like that, your input impedance here is on the order of 30 ohms. If you bring them down like at 
sort of a 45, doesn't have to be exact, you get closer to 50 ohms. Okay, now is it going to make a difference? Well, you're going to tune this thing for resonance right here. So if this is only 30 ohms, it'll tune it so that it represents 50 ohms to your coax, okay? So in other words, putting these down at an angle is not necessarily going to change anything. This will make it a little easier to tune, okay? This will make it, um, it it's still quite tunable. So you can play with this, but I don't think you're going to see much difference. Uh, this, by the way, is a very innovative way of creating tuned radials with those ham sticks because these things are only about six or eight feet long. So the whole thing is pretty small. The screwdriver essentially has just a plain uh, vertical piece here, and then the screw changes the tap in there to give you the exact frequency that you want. It's a very innovative setup. I don't know anybody who manufactures this, but it looks to me like you get perfect tuning anywhere in the band that you want, okay? And you've got your tuned radials, and you'll probably get a very nice match anywhere in the band. Now, it's a compromise antenna. The compromise here is not performance, however. It is bandwidth. So once you tune it to the frequency you want, you're getting full vertical type performance out of this thing. Okay? So, so there you have it. Uh, it's a very innovative antenna and uh, design, and Skip, I uh, commend you for that. I would go so far as to suggest you write it up and send it to the league, because this is something that other people with a uh, problem with an HOA could do, because it's barely visible, and you could even set it on the ground and it would still work uh, pretty well. You'd, if it were on the ground, you'd want to insulate those uh, uh, ham sticks uh, so that they don't uh, contact the ground because you want them to act as true uh, counterpoises or radials, okay? So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you certainly may do so by going to decastler.com slice support and picking a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.